We watched history unfold tonight. The House of Representatives voting to impeach President Donald Trump. He is now just the third president in our nation's history to face impeachment. None have been removed from office. Want to give you an early look at the front pages for the New York Times and Washington Post. As you see, both with a simple headline, Trump impeached. Now, we all watched that marathon debate really all day long. It all started at 9 a.m., and it finished tonight with the final vote just a couple of hours ago. Article 1 is adopted. Tonight, President Donald Trump becoming the third American president to be impeached. The final vote split along party lines. Nearly every Democrat voting for two articles of impeachment, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. What is at risk here is the very idea of America. Every Republican voting against. He is president today. He'll be president tomorrow. And he will be president when this impeachment is over. His impeachment now a stain on President Trump's legacy. As history unfolded in Washington, the president was campaigning for a second term in Michigan. It doesn't really feel like we're being impeached. Do you? <laughs> The country is doing better than ever before. We did nothing wrong. It's in sharp contrast to the fiery debate today on Capitol Hill. The House will come to order. The House will come to order. Republicans going down fighting, even as they knew Democrats had enough votes to impeach. This impeachment is a slap in the face to the millions of Americans who voted for President Trump. Democrats insisting the vote was their constitutional duty and that they were safeguarding democracy for the future. When you see something that is not right, not just, not fair, you have a moral obligation to say something, to do something. The final House vote now recorded in the history books. But the final say on conviction lands with the Republican-controlled Senate, eager to begin the next chapter. And here now is a closer look at how Indiana's representatives voted. There are nine representatives, seven Republicans, and two Democrats. They voted along party lines on both articles. One of them, Democrat Andre Carson, spoke on the House floor today before tonight's vote. And we must not allow our own president of these United States to get away with breaking his own oath of office. Madam Speaker, that is why we take this solemn but necessary vote to impeach. Indiana Senator Mike Braun, a Republican, spoke ahead of a trial in the U.S. Senate. When it comes to everything I know so far, uh, I will vote, you know, to acquit. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to listen and be objective in the trial itself. The process moves to the Senate. The Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says it could start as soon as early January. Senators will vote on official rules for the trial in the coming weeks. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will now name a group of House members as case managers. They will act like prosecutors. They will present the case to the Senate and then call any witnesses. Now, it's not clear yet who will defend the president. And Chief Justice John Roberts will preside over that trial, while senators act as a jury listening to all of the evidence. That trial will go six days a week, off on Sundays, until they reach a final decision. And, of course, we'll continue to have more impeachment coverage for you, as well as reaction from your representatives online at WTHR.com.